it's pretty impressive to go that far against somebody like Womps, who's fifth on SRL, sixth on Speedruns Live. So I think he's one one below me on Speedruns Live. Yeah, I'm going to bring it up. One below me, Womps. So Womps is good. He was almost on the point of I invited him, but... Unfortunately, the top four from Speedruns Live, I offered it to them first, obviously, because they were the top four. So, um, But Womps is, is, is one of these guys that I, I expected to qualify. So, My music died again, and I don't know why it keeps doing that. It's a fucking, like, 30 soundtrack. They're 30 song soundtrack. Whenever they're ready, they can go ahead and start again if you want to let them know Zeke. I'm not even. I was using the same VLC last night with the same playlist. For some reason, it just keeps turning off on me. Let's see if that does it. And they're off and running. Celeron Womps' side, expansion level. Basement on Orange's side. We start from character select screen, instead of starting from picking your own room. Just to add a little more fun to it for us. Infestation isn't good enough, he's going to reset. Spoonbender's not good enough, Womps is going to reset. No timer. Well, we'll start it now and we'll be a little behind. My bad. I was playing my music, so they started without me. Book of Sin on orange side, that's not good enough. Finding that first item. That's the key. Orange going in again here. Spelunker hat. Is he going to run with it? No, I didn't think so. Don't waste your time picking it up then. $3 bill. Lost is going to run it. Random tier effects. Including my... Womps isn't going to run it because he can't get out of here. So Womps is going to reset. Curse the Lost. He'll reset that. Labyrinth. Orange is looking for his item room. I do not agree with wasting a bunch of time looking for item rooms. Curse the Lost. And Womp's resetting the deck of cards. Neither of them getting shit here. Peeper. Poop. Come on, game. Oops. I forgot to give Womp's his heart. Womp's needs his win up there. What'd Womp's grab there? Ghost Baby. Ghost Baby's not great, but it's something. And it gives him a little advantage to get started early. Odd uh, Mushroom on Orange's side, he'll probably roll with that. It is going to give you a little movement speed down. It's a very small damage up. Gives you that giant weirdo head. And a heart container. So both of them pretty neck and neck at this point. Neither of them taking a great item. I'd probably give a little more strength to Ghost Baby, personally, and the fact that he didn't get the movement speed and the bigger hitbox. However, Orange on floor two can have that advantage with extra heart containers to give up for Devil Deals, so we will see. Famine obviously just going to give him a meat cube. Pin, who knows? It's some lunch. So now they both got three heart containers. And Womps has a very slight lead. I think both of them are hoping their second item room is still pretty decent. Neither of them are going to be too excited about their start here. Both of them have a key as well, so that's always a little bit of an advantage. I hate not having a key and I'm just praying you're going to get one on this floor somewhere. Wiggle Worm for Womps. Womps is a man. I, lo I love me some Wiggle Worm. A lot of racers hate it. A lot of gate players in general hate it. I love Wiggle Worm. It is a tier up. A tier rate up. So, Thank you. The artwork was all done by Grom Paloon and he put in a lot of time to make it work for us. The fucking door is rattling. Stop it, door. Wiggle Worm. Ooh, and a small rock. So he's getting some more tiers up, tier rate up. And the damage from small rock. Wiggleworm's a little funny to learn how to use it. You see the tiers don't drift the same as they normally do. Um, so it has its pros and cons. Uh, I personally like the way they drift, but it is a little funky to get used to. And it can fuck with your head. 
Orange has got a pretty big floor here. I guess they both did. Found his item room and his boss fight, though, so still wants with a slight lead, but not much. But look at that damage from that small rock and that tier rate. Mm, he's tearing it up. Squeezy, so now he's really got some tier rate going. And another key, so he knows he's going to have a key for his next item room as well. Number one over there for oranges, dig it. That's going to cap out his tier rate. Eight. Tier rate on both sides, very nice. Yeah, exactly, Zeke. You can't throw your tiers with uh, Wiggle Worm. They just drift instead of actually getting the throw effect you can do with regular tiers. But at the same time, I feel it's easier to be accurate. He's getting Little Steve. That boss only has two items they can drop, Little Steve or Steven. Everybody's always praying for Steven, but Little Steve's the more common drop, and it's a follower with homing tiers. Oh shit, and there's a compass on Womp's side. And in my opinion, people get upset about Bibles, people get worried about knives and brimstone, but I get mad when somebody gets a compass. Compass can just save so much time. Orange is getting his third item room and another bookable aisle for him. So again, a damage up when he uses it for the room, and it's going to increase his devil deal chance, so... I have Tinted Rock giving him some serious coins and coinage there. And Book of Belial on Womp's side, so it's tier 8 with Book of Belial versus tier 8 with Book of Belial. Womp's has a little damage advantage with the small rock. About 0.7 damage advantage. Damage advantage. Uh -huh. This is just the Binding of Isaac soundtrack. And they're both again in their boss room, or the room before their boss room at almost the exact same time, so... Ooh, this will be a hard decision. Do you take the pony or do you keep the book? The Headless Horseman's gonna give you that pony, which is gonna give you flying as long as you're keeping that space you side him in your inventory, but... Book of Belial is really good damage and Devil Deal chance, so for me this would be a hard decision. Probably depend on what I, he didn't get a devil deal, so I understand why he skipped that pony. And Orange is just barely behind finishing up his caves one boss. And they'll be on the same floor again. Pilpers as Kane. Can't complain about that. Uh, unless it's a bunch of bad gas. Range. That's a good one when you got number one. But none of those pills doing anything too great for him. He's going to check his secret room, see if he can snag enough coins to go in the shop. Not enough. Caves 1 is your last guaranteed shop with no greed. Hey, Rock. What's up, MBTL? And Womps, real quick, finds his item room and his boss fight. Moving right along. So now he's got a pretty decent lead over Orange's here from being a very close game. So Orange has got to hope for the same on his floor. But he doesn't have that compass to make it happen, so it's going to be tough. These early floors especially, compass is so helpful. His compass is just so fast early. Some of these later floors, it can confuse you a little bit. I'd be taking that Roid Rage. Roid Rage is just going to give him a bunch of speed, but with that odd mushroom, he was walking pretty slow for a cane. Whoa, almost pushed that Brimstone guy right into him on Womp's side. He found his item room, but he has no key. And his boss fight wasn't this way, so he's going to have to backtrack around. He's, he's going to try to get in anyway. He's going to shoot the door and hope it falls down. That, that isn't going to happen. No, I don't, RNG. Gotta get, there it is. And there's that boss fight for Orange. It's gonna put him on the same floor, but that compass is just gonna be hard to beat. Orange is just still two cents short to even risk a shop at this point. Not one cent short. Both of them just almost mirror matching here with a follower. 
good shot speed, Book of Belial. Womps has a slight damage advantage. That is the only difference. And literally, it's 0.7 damage. That's the advantage right now on the damage end. So all, all orange needs here to be the same is a compass, and then we can have just a general mirror match. And a loading screen error for orange. That's not going to help the situation at all. We got Mr. Cool over here on Womp's side. Loki, probably one of the easiest depth spike fights you can get. Pretty simple. He's just going to shoot tears. <laughs> Look what you've done, Orange. Look what you've done. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Shrek is not saving his loading screen error. And finally, there it goes. Not even an XL floor to show for us. So he's again still a full floor behind. And Womps is right on the right path to get to his boss fight. This was a pretty easy one for him. Not much confusion here. Womps has that eternal heart for Maggie's faith that he's about to... Oh, he saved it. He saved it. I don't know why Cobalt's playing what Cobalt's playing. There goes that eternal heart. So he's not going to get the health up for Maggie's faith this floor, but he's just trying to keep his lead over oranges here. So Womps wins this one, and then we're going to be doing Elven versus Womps. And the way it's looking right now, Womps has got a pretty good advantage. It's going to be hard for Orange to kept, uh, catch up. He's going to need something good here, or he's going to need Womps to make a mistake, take too much damage. But Orange's life isn't very strong either, so we'll see what happens here. It's hard to say. I've seen people die with, less <laughs> with more life than that in the womb, including Womps. Another baby for Orange, my favorite baby, Rainbow. Gonna shoot a few different random tier effects, but most importantly, in my opinion, you're gonna get that Gish slow effect. So nice. Womps gets the regular Mom's foot. I think that's the first one we've seen tonight. Could, uh, Elvin had red twice, and Kadoom had blue twice, if I'm not mistaken. I don't remember what the last match was. Stem cells give Womps a little more life. He's gonna take the Polaroid just to be safe. Blue is very annoying. My daughter is squeaking like a parrot tonight. She's going crazy. Well, I'm just going to clear those heads and then kill his little mimic on spikes there. Whatever those things are called. I call them mimics. I like to make up my own names. Orange is dealing with these knights over here, but he needs to catch up. And he is just... Nope. That's, that's no catch up. That's no catch up. Orange down trying to keep up with Womps. Like I said, that's the problem. When someone gets a lead, the other guy's trying to play catch up the whole time, and you can just kill yourself too easy. That's the first time we've seen Oranges die yet in these qualifiers, so he was really just doing everything he could to try to stay on Womps' tail, but that compass is too strong. Here's where compass is hard. Is it going to really go down and around to the bottom? Or is it going to wrap around to the right? We'll find out. So now all Orange can do is, in my opinion, just look for a great item, better than the virus, and hope on the Womp's death. Womp's doing the wrong side. If you're going to do it with the spikes that way, you got to do it from the other side. Wiggle Worm. This is where Wiggle Worm's a troll. You can't throw him at him. Womp should win as long as he plays safe. As long as he plays safe. Remember, everything in the womb is one full heart container. So a conquest fight, Womps can get trolled by RNG and lose that way. I, I've seen it many times. Experienced it myself. So we will see here. What did Orange take? The mulligan. Very nice. Mulligan's going to give him a chance on damage to spawn flies. Those attack flies doing huge damage. He's hoping for Dr. Fee to shovel. I don't think he's even necessarily hoping for that good. He's just hoping on Womps to die. He knows the truth. Womps has to die. There are no rules. Except that they both have to have a Platinum God save file. This is just raw Isaac Racing. Pentagram to go with that mulligan over there. Very nice build for his... It's always the second race that's the better build.
I'm surprised he popped the Book of Belial the room before. That's interesting to me. Maybe he's more afraid of these babbies than he is of the boss? And he gets war. Or not war, death. Pretty easy fight for the womb. One you don't you don't get upset about seeing. You're just happy it's not conquest. Every time you get a womb on boss, it's not conquest, you're happy. Conquest sometimes easy, sometimes just a pain in the ass. So Womps has got a pretty good game going here. I don't think he's gonna fuck this up, but we will see. It's all it's all Orange can hope for at this point it is a mistake. Like picking up that half heart, in my opinion, was a mistake. No longer can use your Polaroid. Why not save it? Did he fat finger space? Is that what he said? <laughs> Womps has fat fingers, so I believe that. I don't think he's going to either, but I've seen Womps make a mistake or two. I've seen some trolley rooms before. All we need is, you know, a few triple girty rooms. Especially on the womb. Like there, two two hits, and now he's down to three hearts already, so. And nerves start setting in, you know you're going to seal the deal. But Womps is a pretty experienced racer, which in my opinion is an advantage. He knows, he knows how to play it. Oh, sh... Another Polaroid. I hate those brimstone eyes. I always get shot by them. They shoot so annoying. And he's on to his heart fight. So it looks like Womps has this in the bag. He's got a shitload of bombs. Looks like it's going to be Womps versus Alvin. Alvin? Alvin! Oh, Womps running into an eyeball. Oh, God. I feel like everyone should go into Womps' channel just in case he dies. Because if he dies, there's going to be some serious rage. Some serious rage. <sighs> Looks like he's got it. Mom's. yep, she's staying out now. All you gotta watch out for is these stupid red flies. Pops the hangman, which is actually a smart move. You can fly around and not have to worry about the blood on the ground. And... Womps has it. There it is. 1629 with Wiggle Worm. Give the man some credit for running the wiggle. I like the music it played right there. <laughs> and Womps gonna get his little piece of the aggro, Craig. Congratulations, Womps. Go we'll give Womps some love real quick. Tell him congratulations. Let Elvin get or Elvin get booted back up real quick here. Womps is just gonna stay live. It will be Womps versus Elvin. Um, Grom, did you have it ready, or did you not have it ready? Give me a quick second. I will be right back. I want to fix my door. It's been rattling because of the wind coming in my window. So I'll be right back while these guys get set up. Get a minute. Get in call. Zeke, jump in with him. Shouldn't be in any issues, but just in case, jump in with him. And I'll be right back, guys. We'll do this third and final race of the night. This will determine who's going to win a little a little cash money. 50 bucks. Nothing serious, but they also get the qualifier to come back and hopefully win four or $500. So, um, not, not, not only that, you get a chance to play against people like Cobalt Streak, Slack Holocaust, some of these guys that I would love to personally race. I haven't gotten to enjoy a race with. So, um, to me, that would be better than the prize money. You know, just to get to sit down and race with some of these guys that have been doing it a long time. Prove a little something to yourself, you know. So I will be right back.
Alright guys, sorry about that, but I want to take a quick second for myself. Walk around, fix my door from rattling. Um, music is just stupid. It's literally in the middle of a song. It just stopped playing. Like, I don't understand why it's doing that. All right, let me get Elvin pulled up here. Did Grom say he had it? Oranges is keeping you entertained while I was away. All right. There's the new multi-twitch for Womps and Elvin. Should be a good match. Both of them now have guaranteed them a, quali a qualified spot, so both of them will be back for the first weekend of December when I start the main event, the real tournament, um, the big money cash prize, the first two weekends of December. Give me one second while I pull them up here and get the name switched around for us. Womps got I wanted I knew Womps would want a cigarette too, so as a smoker myself, I'll respect him enough to let him smoke again. Get the new layout there. It's like we predicted the future or something. How did I have that? This was it for me. The t I would I was, I was it was between Elvin and Kadoom was the one I wasn't sure which way it was going to go. I really didn't know. So I figured Womps had oranges, and I think oranges admitted to me he figured Womps had him too, though. But he wasn't just going to give up and roll over. But good show for everybody that's participated. I really appreciate it. It's been fun for me to watch fun for me to commentate on. I hope you guys are enjoying it. I hope we'll have more good races throughout the next five weeks. We'll be doing this every weekend, Friday and Saturday, the next five weeks. Right? Yes. This is the finals. Womps is racing back to back. Good thing he didn't actually have to burn any energy. Guess maybe some mental energy. Throwing up the manpower over there. Dude, that pizza got my hand greasy. I can't size properly. Mouse grease. No good. My door is still rattling. I hate this stupid door. Can you guys even hear it? Or is it just bugging me and not you guys at all? old house built in the 50s yeah if you want to save your own platinum god file you want to get a platinum god file real quick we do have one on the website um, I personally use multiple save files, one for racing, one for casual. I have some for deathless streaks. Um, if you get into Isaac seriously, it's not bad to have a few files around. Some racers uh, even make their own custom files. That's why we specifically say Platinum God. So, you can't hear it? All right. Uh, is the dashboard good, Zeke? And thank you to all my mods who've helped out here. I really appreciate it because I don't have any way to do anything. All right, let's hit it up then. Whenever they're ready, we will let them go. Release the hounds. 
These songs have like a little different volume too. I'm panicking. I'm. <laughs> They're both qualified, so this is just about making a prize money and making a statement that you want it. Um, so, eh, I'd just be happy to qualify. Oh shit, aggro crag. Aggro down. Aggro down. Both of them into two shitty item rooms. Robo Baby on Elvin's side. He's gonna take it. Good choice. I would have as well. Robo Baby. Gonna shoot them laser beams for you. It's not the best item, but it's decent, and he gets to get he gets to know he has a l Oh shit! Well a Robo Baby doesn't stab, stab, stab. I gotta double check I got the screens on the right side. It was Womps with a good RNG. Elvin's gonna take this. Ah, it's a smart decision. He's just gonna say, fuck it, Robo's not good enough and reset. Here's the issue with knife, though. You can go too fast and kill yourself so easy. Especially if you can get it. If, you, if your opponent has something good to keep up with you. And that's what Elvin's looking for right now. Something good to keep up. Homing bombs isn't going to do it. I hope he didn't kill himself with that reset on Robo. Guppy's paw is going to re-roll that and hope for... Sister, you got to take it, in my opinion. You got to take that five damage follower. No, he, he says it's a knife. Ooh. Mini mush over there on Womps' side. That is one speedy little cane with a knife. I'd be so scared. Wants well, to get the life health up of the first boss, which is all you want when you have a knife, to be honest. Just give me the health ups. It is still two it lives, yes sir. All of my qualifier races are two it lives, just because I don't know the skill level of the racers ahead of time. So I don't want us to get into chest races where they accidentally take us four hours. So, these are my trials for everybody. The smallest psychopath. He's considering that battery, but it's, in my opinion, it's not much of an item. Elvin may be regretting his decision to reset Sister and Robo. Pentagram, gonna make that knife stab even deeper. Curse the Labyrinth on Womps' side. At least it's caves, not catacombs, but I hate Labyrinth caves. And this is why we do best two out of three, though right here because and this is where I struggle with the rules some banned items no banned items it's so hard to ban all the items that are just obviously overpowered so um, I feel like this is the easiest way to say you can get something to compete is to just put no rules on the list so because right now Elvin could find a doctor fetus an epic fetus Elvin needs to move though. He can't keep searching. He can't do it. He maybe he's just saying, fuck it, I lost. But he has just put three minutes and he's about to be four floors behind if he doesn't find something quickly here. And it's just what this is doing though is letting Womps just go slow. Look at how slow he's clearing these rooms. I I'm I mean I know there's a lot of people in here saying it's over, it's over, but if you keep pressure on a guy with a knife, they kill themselves. It happens. I've seen it from top tier players. We've seen it in Boiler. But giving him this much leeway, this much room to go slow, it's it now it now it will be over, in my opinion. Womps has what he needs. Health and time. Time to slow stab. I've said it since the beginning of this tournament. you got to play your opponent. And we saw Womps last game. I mean, he's good, but he's not foolproof. He's still going to take damage. He's still going to get hit. Again, he sees the guppy's paw in a cursed room, and he's hoping this time it rerolls into something decent. Lucky foot. Maybe he's going to roll with it. Maybe he's decided he's got to move. Welcome back. 
And this Caves XL is no speedy floor for Womps. God, I hate those exploding boom fights with that knife. And Steam Sale. He might take. He's going to pick up the key just to make sure he's got one. Pop a pill since he's cane. Get some puby hairs on his head. I'd be taking that burnt penny for sure. Much stronger than fish head, in my opinion. Gonna get Chubbs here. Knife will cut through him pretty quick. Segmented bosses with anything that you can hit all the pieces with. Like you just saw there, he hit all three of Chubbs' pieces and he was down. Chubbs, Larry Jr., those segmented bosses, knife really has a huge advantage over just regular boss. Stationary, stationary bosses as well. You can get in there and do a little wiggle, wiggle, wiggle with that knife. Just tearing through both his bosses. Pentagram damage, plus just being cane base damage. Oh, and that's where I hate pills. Wasting a little time for him, but he's got plenty of it. More speed! Stop it, game! And he got lucky his devil deal didn't disappear. I would have took the pact. Personally would have took the pact. The charge rate on the knife is, is always nice for me. I know you got a knife, but that charge rate is just really nice. Elvin is just really, in my opinion, screwed himself taking so long resetting. I don't think he I don't necessarily think he would have won with his other items, but like I said, keeping pressure on Womps would have been the only way I think to keep Womps from getting too far ahead. He can afford to lose the speed with that large, so you know he's taking it for the hard containers. Uh, they're both situational, depending on what you have. Shot speed and, I mean, shot speed and damage just depends what you need. I personally am always looking for the mark. I think tier speed, or tier rate's a lot easier to find than damage, so I think generally the mark is better. Um, but there's cases where I'd take packed over mark. And Womps is on to Necrock Polis 2, so he's got more than enough time. This is where he can stop if he has to, gamble. He can backtrack for item rooms. He can just take a little bit of a nap at this point, to be honest. Rest his hands. Check his Facebook. Update his status. I got a knife and I'm leading. But Elvin's going to keep pegging along just in case, which I understand. You never know. I've seen so many fuck-ups in this game. Necro, I think that book's a little underrated as a, as a race item. It does decent damage. Yeah, he's Swamp's definitely going to have a, a pretty easy game here now. It's the lover card because of his arcade. Gonna go put in some gambling time, maybe? Not sure why he popped his lover there when he didn't really need it. Mom's bra? I wouldn't take it. You need something better than that, Elvin. Keep the dice and hope to God you get a shovel or something. Shovel down some XL floors. He's got an okay build going over there. Nothing spectacular, but it's not too terrible. In a normal situation, wouldn't be too bad. <laughs> he fat fingered the wrong button again. Womps needs to seriously work out his fingers a little bit. Ugh, a couple of devil eels not going to do him any good. He's one item away from Guppy, though. Is he <laughs> too little too late for Guppy? Not even cat speed can speed catch, catch up to a knife? I don't know. It'd be tight. Womps with over a two floor advantage. Almost a full three floor advantage at this point. What's up, Lobby? This is not where you want to be in this situation either. Not 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 just the fact that you might lose this race, but it's the first one. It's gonna give Womps the 1-0 lead. Meaning Elvin's gotta win both of them back to back.
I don't know. I do not know. Look at that knife. Just ripped through those fly heads. Ain't no thing. Yeah, I will be on after this. I might take a quick minute with my daughter. Um, but I will be on. I'll probably play some Isaac, keep the deathless streak. I'd like to hit 50 kills tonight at least on my deathless streak. And then some Risk of Rain, I think. Because it's been a while since I've played anything but Isaac. So, And that knife. I would have just used safety strats on the knife just to get this over with. Keep your lead. And the meat. More damage, more health. What a beautiful knife build, Womp says. Beautiful. I hate these wind socks with knife, but he has the damage to take care of them. Is he going to pop the telepills and see where it takes him? Or save it? Risk of rain. Dude, I, s I played it for like 25 minutes, maybe a half an hour. And uh, it's pretty rough, man. Maybe I don't know what I'm doing, but it seemed pretty rough. Champion Gertie over there on Elvin's side. Not going to shoot, just going to spawn a bunch of flies and buttholes. Pretty easy boss. Uh, if you don't take out those two buttholes on the side, I usually take out at least one. They can lob the shots over the rock and hit you. See as it lobs over the rock and he's dodging it back and forth there. But I personally usually take out one, but he's he's in a hurry. And he's got a little life to spare. He's going to take out one now. He says, I'm sick of dodging those shots back and forth. He wants his devil deal, so he doesn't want to take too much damage on this fight. Look at all those shooting flies on the right. Oh my god, I don't know how he hasn't gotten hit yet. And lops into his utero one boss fight. Bloat again. Lots of bloatage tonight. And a little more speed for Wombs. Why is Elvin so far behind? Because he doesn't have a knife. He reset a lot trying to get something to compete with a knife. And it did not pan out. Wombs taking the risky telepills. Or... Oh, that was a moon card. He didn't tell pills there. It was a moon card. So Womp's trying some moon strats. We got the theory that the boss is usually the same direction as the secret room. However, that secret room is pretty centrally located. So which way is it pointing you? I don't know. And at this point, I cannot say that Womp's has really any chance of losing. It would take a, a, a damn Isaac miracle, I think. But if anyone's got the RNG to do it, it's usually Elvin. I told you he's going to regret burning up all his good luck in the last match. Three Emperor cards in two games for Elvin last last match he played. Moonster hats. Womp's just cutting his way through. Cleared a lot of this utero too. He should be getting there soon. He's going to go back. He thinks it's down. Or is he going to play with his judgy? He's going to play with the judgy. He's going to play with the judgy. It says, hmm. I don't need a good time. I just want to win my 50 bucks. Getting even more life. And back the same way he was headed. Uh, this floor, it's hard to say. I think it'll be to the left and up, maybe? Or it could be straight down. Yeah, straight down there. There's a lot of big empty space up there in the top left, which would have led me to believe it was up there somewhere. I can see what you're typing, spicy Mexican taco. What's up, Casper? Sorry, I didn't see you, bro. And there it is. Like I thought, just straight down. Womps onto his heart fight. Gonna necro down those eyeballs. Do a little wiggle action. Wiggle that knife. Wiggle it. I love wiggling. Look at it. Just tearing health off. Womps burned up a lot of life doing it, though. So now he's got to slow down a little bit. And there it is. 1420. 1-0 for Womps there.
GG. If he would have died from his wiggling, I would have laughed. Look at him swing that blade. Fight me. Fight me. We'll give him a second. Womps use the keyboard. Throw up the split link as well, guys, if you would, again. You guys can definitely check out the split links. Give them some love. Give them some follows. I know Elvin plays a lot of Isaac. Womps plays a lot of Isaac. Super Meat Boy, he's a speedrunner. Does a lot of different speedrunning stuff. I haven't known Elvin as long, so I don't know everything he does. You can also go to hammertimerace.com and you can see all the competitors there. It will tell you when they're live. It will tell you when they're offline. You can get links right to their Twitches from there so you can see them streaming, whatever they're playing. Um, see all the competitors that are participating as well. We're still playing with the website a little bit, trying to make it a little more functional. Uh, but so far it's working really well. So um, They're going again. They didn't give me any time. They are off and running. We'll let them do it. And I will mention again since that race is over, please guys, check out my sponsor, Moo Mouse Prison. If you play Minecraft, if your friends play Minecraft, your little brother, like me in my case, plays Minecraft, have them take a peek. They sponsored up the majority of the cash prize we have to offer you guys. So, without them, not only that, they did the website. Um, without that, we wouldn't we wouldn't be doing this. So, I cannot give enough love to them. And you guys going over there, taking a look, makes it so maybe we can do more with them again later. So, please show them some love. The link's right there on the chat. Check out, or even just check out his stream. Check out their. Um, Twitter, their YouTube, anything you can do to help support the sponsor. That's why they're here, is looking for a little love, so. And another speedy mushroom over there for Elvin. He's going to reset that. Womp's still looking for his as well. You can play this game either way. I personally don't mind the keyboard controls. The game's pretty basic, so I just ran the keyboard. I, I didn't have to use anything to make it work. Rosary? Is Womp's going to run Rosary again and hope to buy a Bible? Looks like it. He was happy with how it worked out last time. I don't think it's a great strategy, but... It might have worked better against... Oh, gee, what? Where'd the Dr. Fetus come from? Shit! Oh, Jesus! And Womps' rosary is looking a little weak now. Balls of steel, even more soul hearts. Tears up. He's hoping for an epic feat. Oh, I saw an item. I saw the pedestal and I was thinking we were going to have a fetus race. So we get a knife, then we get a Dr. Fetus. A little RNG back at you. Maybe the third race we'll actually get to see Tears. Maybe. Tears versus Tears. Again, Womps is just going to keep pressure on him. I know Womps. He's just going to go. He's just going to stay up with him as best he can and hope that Elvin isn't that good with Dr. Fetus. We saw a failed Ipecac run once already this race. A Dr. Fetus is a little harder to fuck up with. Ipecac is a little easier to make a mistake with, but... Um, it'll be surprising. I don't know. I've got faith in Elvin. The real advantage here isn't just the damage. It's the fact you can bomb through doors. You don't have to fight shit. I can just go right through that door. I would have taken that odd mushroom just for the health up. Because all you need, again, just like the knife, all you need with Dr. Fetus is health. Nothing else matters. Maybe an okay space use item. He's going to keep his his dice, though. It's hard to give up the dice on Isaac. They're both still on the same floor, but you're going to see Elvin just pulling away. He's not even going to check his devil deal, which I've seen so much of that, and it drives me nuts. Just get a shovel and carry it. Even if you don't necessarily want to use it, I don't see why you wouldn't risk it. You've got Dr. Fetus, Krampus dies in four or five shots. But these guys are afraid of wasting time on Krampus, think they don't need anything. A shovel. Seal the fucking deal and put it away. I know you don't have to go YOLO speed, but you got the heart containers, you got the dice, you could have easily made it happen there. Even a guppy's paw in that situation is a great item with Dr. Fetus. Don't use it, just carry it. Take it with you. Just hold it as a safety strat item for later in the game. There's just too many good reasons why I would have checked that devil deal. Mm, 
Gish over there on Womp's side. Beautiful little follower, but he is behind. Not a ton, but he's behind. He's got some coins. He's going to need a compass or something to, to get any kind of chance here. Now a god room. He's going to check the god room, though. Grab a halo, another health up. A little speed up as well, which won't hurt. Cube of meat for his second one. Going to give him that little shooting orbital. Skeleton key. He doesn't really need it at this point. Like I said, item rooms, you're not going to really get shit you want with an Acrofetus. So I wouldn't have bothered with the time sink on this key there as well. Well, I'm still short on the coins. I know he's trying to build up some coins here so he can hopefully get something to map him out. Top hat's gone. <laughs> he's no longer dapper. Is he going to go in there? He's going to re-roll it. I don't know what you'd see in there. A compass. There it is. I forgot about compass. What was I thinking? I knew that. And that, that there will seal the fucking deal. I don't even care. I was trying to be positive for Womps, but... Dr. Fetus and a compass. GG. Oh yeah, you can buy out of rooms. Womps well, getting down to the same floor as him after this boss fight. After he kills Geardy Jr. here. Gish very strong on this fight because he makes it so Gertie can't charge. He just kind of does that little retard scooch. Always reminds me of a dog rubbing his ass on the carpet. Gertie's got the worms! Double deal there for Womps. He needs a shovel! He's going to take Sister Maggie though. And see what he gets for pills. Mr. Mega! Oh my f lord! Mr. Mega is going to make Dr. Fetus do an unbelievable amount of damage, as you'll see here on this Champion Gertie, who's normally an incredible tanky boss. But, not when you've got Mr. Mega. He can reroll the crown, because he's already got a compass. And grab another health up. Womp well, snows at this point. <laughs> I'm fucked. Sort of how Elvin felt when they saw Womps with a knife. So I guess a little justice, a little Isaac justice there. Mm, cursed, or Guppy's tail there. Gonna make more gold chests spawn for Womps. He doesn't have any keys as it is, so... He's gonna see a bunch of gold chests he probably can't open. Womps doing his best to keep up, though. I mean, he's only one floor behind. But that's all Elvin needs is... One second, you still win. But at this rate, I say we're going to three, guys. I say we're going to three. We've got Pestilence over here and Gish over there. So we're both going to have a little Gish minion. First... This is not the first to three, no. This will be the second to go to three. Orange and Evil went to three last night. And another meat cube for Womps as well. So they both got the little shooting orbital. And there he goes. Now he's decided he's going to start bombing some more rooms. As these floors start to get harder, the clearing becomes less useful and you just want to get through the rooms and move along. And he knows Womps isn't too far behind. Oh, that was close on that Mr. Mega not hitting him. Gotta be careful. Dual Epic Feet. <laughs> I would love to see it. I, would, I was really hoping when I saw Womps' Bob's Rotten Head that it was going to be an Epic Fetus. So it would have been Epic Fetus versus Doctor. With the Doctor having a little lead, it would have been fun to see. Let's see how he does his Mr. Mega Mom's Foot here. Sometimes I've seen people struggle with these foot fights like they haven't practiced it enough with Fetus, but he's doing it the right way. Just keep shooting him at doors. Slide him at the feet when you can. It's a little awkward, but you'll get through it. And usually pull a little extra health out of it at the end. Gonna pick up the Polaroid. He doesn't need the Isaac's Hedge. Followers are sort of annoying because they'll push your bombs further with Dr. Fetus. 
So I probably would have passed up on the Gish even, to be honest. <laughs> Just said fuck it. I don't need him. And now Elvin is way ahead, so he can stop, gamble if he needs to, even if he accidentally bombs himself. Womps is looking like it's over. Elvin's gonna go back because he doesn't think his boss room's that way, which makes sense. It'd be hard to predict it being that way. This is where compass can be a little confusing, but at least you know the general direction. You're not ever gonna go up. <laughs> Red Mom's pretty trolly with Dr. Fetus, but still doable. Still wouldn't be too bad. Monstro 2 for Womps, and he didn't lock it into its laser beam cycle. So it's an annoying fight if you can't keep it locked in. There you go, back and forth. Wait until he twitches his mouth at you, then switch to the other side. And Elvin was right, this is the direction to his boss fight, so he's going to be moving right down to Womb 2 here pretty shortly. Womps back and forth. <laughs> and again, another death fight. We haven't had too much conquest tonight, have we? Once? I think that's all. Devil deal for Womps? Nothing in there going to save his life. Oh, he's going to skip Soccer Boy. Should have took Soccer Boy just for fun. Just because he's so damn cute. You're not going to see many racers pick up a three-piece or four-piece Meat Boy. All it does is... I know. <laughs> sure. Why not? At that point, does it even matter? I mean, but just just a little a little extra for you here, bro. We'll throw a heart room in on Womb 2. On that you accidentally found. <laughs> oh, there's your secret room as well. Getting some, some good luck here. I, I didn't know why he was finishing that fight. The boss fight's right there, and he's got it. This is going to be over. Considering he wasn't rushing too bad, pretty decent time. Because he wasn't really going full bore. He knew he didn't have to. Just by the way, <laughs> he's bouncing them bombs all over the place. But look at it just chunk health away. That Mr. Mega with Dr. Fetus is just so strong. And a couple more of those shots, one and done. So, very good. Uh, we're going to three, so I couldn't have asked for a better time to go to three. Should have expected it. These two are pretty evenly matched, I would have gonna guess so after watching Elvin second race there versus or er, Kadoom, which honestly I was a little surprised because I know Elvin hasn't been racing that long, but I knew he was a good Isaac player. I've seen him play casually, so it's pretty easy to tell if or not they have what it takes. Because that was only two minutes two minutes faster than a knife, which isn't normally banned, so that's why I don't care. But we can throw up a split link here, guys. And we're going to get the third game going here in just a second. So let's see, make sure they're both okay with the starting. Womps doesn't want to smoke. Uh, what if one of the racers game crash? It'd be hard to say. Are you actually game crashed? Uh, it doesn't happen very often in Isaac. Dude, you ask it again. I'm going to have to have somebody stop you there, bro. We've seen it. What do you think happens? I like... I love boiler rules, and I love boiler. I'm not saying I don't. Um, Womps is going to take a quick minute here after that one. I understand why he would. And like I said, I actually asked Crumps before I did this, because I didn't want to upset anyone. Um... You know, and I boiler is the reason I stream. It's the reason I race. So I respect it. Uh, I personally prefer racing with no rules. Um, I think it's hard to ban items and not still have the game fall on RNG because even just a compass is still an advantage. Any item is an advantage as long as it's better than what your opponent has. So I mean, the only way to limit, l eliminate RNG is what we're going to play seeded races. That's boring. So, 
people were still bitching about RNG even in Boiler with banned items. So either way, it's going to happen. Uh-oh. Grip Army. How's it going, guys? Thank you, Grip, for the raid, sir. Can someone throw up a link for GripX? Most of you probably know Grip. If you hang out in Cobalt's channel, you've seen him around there. Grip plays a lot of League of Legends. He's also... In my, he's my Twitch man crush. A gorgeous European. Holy Grip! His raiders are strong today. They're rolling through. We're just taking a quick break. We just finished uh, the second race here. We're about to go on to the best two out of three. This is the final match for the qualifier. Winner here is going to take the prize money for this qualifier. Um, both these racers will be back, though, for the main event that we'll be doing in December. Um, and Cobalt will be there. Since any since you watch Grip, you may know the fella Cobalt as well. I would assume you would. Prize money. Yes, prize money. <laughs> Thank you, sir. I appreciate it. All right, they were both taking a quick break because they both... First race was with a knife with on Wamps' side. Second race was Dr. Fetus, Mr. Mega on Elvin's side. So, so far we've had just RNG versus RNG. Um, we haven't gotten a real just race for either of these guys. But hopefully here we can see tears on both sides, maybe? Maybe some tears? I'd be happy with some teeth. You know how I love them girthy teeth. Round three, they got to do a purist challenge. And Womps is back, and Elvin is back. So Zeke, tell them whenever they're ready, let's get this show on the road. And we will be doing races further than this come the be first weekend of December. They will be going further than this. Um, I know for sure the semifinals and finals will for sure be to the chest. I'm still debating on the first two rounds, how we're going to play those out yet. So These guys will have to start practicing other race methods. I kind of like leaving it a little open, too, so they just got to practice. <laughs> that would be hilarious. <laughs> they switch items. Du dueling chocolate milk? Swamps will take the chocolate milk. I don't know if Elvin would. So whenever they're ready. Just waiting on Wamps. All right. Wamps is there. I see him. I see his beautiful Asian self. Throw the split link up one more time, guys. If you haven't checked out both these racers, please do. Womps and me. Womps is probably my first Twitch friend. I met him through Speedruns Live, Racing Isaac, um, and we've been become pretty close since. Since a lot of my viewers are Womps viewers, we kind of share viewers back and forth. Um, I didn't know Elvin as well. I've just recently met him. He was a, a last-minute fill-in, so I know he plays Isaac, and he does obviously a pretty good job at it. So definitely shoot him some love for that. At least take a look in their channel. And also, if you guys haven't looked, if you check out HammerTimeRace.com, that's the website for the Invitational. Um, you can see all the competitors there. It'll tell you when they're live under the competitor section. Um, you can get links directly into their Twitch page. It'll also tell you the upcoming schedule. Next Friday, 8 p.m., we'll be back with eight new people, eliminating six out of those eight and taking two of us on to the main event. So it will be fun. What are they? What's Womps waiting on? Get Womps rolling here. He's just sitting in his chair smiling, looking pretty. Give me some racing, damn it. The man wants races. Does it say November 8th? Damn it, Moo Mau. Get him. I didn't even notice. It's hard to watch all that shit. Looks like they're getting ready. Womps is just holding his hands above his head. The date's wrong, apparently, Mumo. And they're off. So it's 1-1. One, one. Whoever wins this one is going home with the prize money. Like I said, both of them already did get the invite, so now all they're fighting over is the prize money. And the fact that they can say they won their qualifier. 
It may affect how they're seated. I haven't determined that as well yet either. Boom. Not good enough. Boom would have given him five bombs and a remote detonator. He could have blown up his bombs at will every time he hit spacebar instead of just having bombs explode on their own timer. Attack fly rerolls into little gish. I'd run that. Certainly not a Dr. Fetus, but Little Gish is considered the best follower by most. Look at that slow effect. He instantly drops on Monstro. Plus he does the... Ooh. But that's the problem. Gish does make things react differently, so if you aren't like that, he doesn't jump. The Monstro normally jumps at you, but when he's Gish blacked, like that, tarred, inked, whatever you want to call it, he just jumps straight up and down. He doesn't really go anywhere. And Womp's Doctor's Remote. He might run it. I know Womps, he just doesn't like to fall behind. Doctor's Ramon is basically going to give you a six room epic fetus shot. Ooh, Guppy's tail. I'd have to take it because I always want to become a Guppy. And you're going to see this feet, Doctor, or epic fetus missile. There it is. Good shot. Hits both pieces. And Elvin finally done with his monster fight and moving on. Why didn't he take the tail? Because the tail spawns a bunch of gold chests and can be really trolly because you burn your keys on those instead of item rooms. My hammer is on the timer. And Womp's almost done with his first boss fight. There it is. Gonna get a health up and a little range. Not a bad, not a bad choice. The qualifiers are only 50 bucks. It was just a way for us to really try to draw interest in randoms to um, join up. Uh, the main event, which is going on in December, is potentially uh, $600 at the point at this moment. So One of these guys could end up taking home all the money. There is $400 for first place in the main event. Um, there's also a couple of bounties. I put a $50 bounty on Slackaholicus because the man was 16-0 and 0 in the boiler season, and he deserved it. And I also put a bounty on my friend Hyphenated, who uh, led the, the league in... Uh, on speedruns live all season long. So both of them are crazy racers. So whoever knocks out them will get a little extra cash that way. I'm also throwing up all my donations so if you want to help these guys out you want to add to the prize pool. All my donations from the month of November are going straight into the prize pool as well because I want to make sure this works out for everybody and everybody's happy in the end so I don't mind. Hey Slash, good to see you man. Both players moving along pretty pretty close at this point. Oh, there's a nice item. Quad shot on Womp's side. He'll be happy about that. Doesn't have a damage up yet for it. And there's that doctor's remote dropping that epic fetus bomb again. Here's where Isaac can pull an advantage, though. He's going to be re-rolling these items, and now he's going to be looking for good gold items. Anarchist Cookbook. Picking that up is going to increase his chance to see libraries, which is nice as well. 25-hour streams? I don't know. People people are weird. Hourglass. That's probably one of my least favorite items. Even though it does something, the effects just... I might as well be the poop. I'd probably rather have the poop. So Womp's got a little advantage here. Not a huge head or lead, but a little bit. These early floors, it's kind of whatever. We've seen the lead, lead go both ways. Womp's went the wrong way for his boss fight. I personally consider doing less than 24, like 20. Slightly less miserable than 24. I don't actually hate the 24 hour as far as the time. Um, it's just... I have a daughter and a wife and a job. It's a lot to invest. I, I like the 20 hours, like Cobalt does 20 hours. That seems like a, a fair amount of time to stream and still have a, a little bit of time in there. It's not about tiredness, just... Come on, need a little real life as well. So Womp's finding his caves one boss fight. Ooh, Joker card on Elvin's side. Is he going to pop it now? He's probably going to wait till his dice is charged. Joker card can take him either way, Angel Room or Devil Room. And he gets the Angel Room with a Relic. He's going to bravely re-roll the Relic into Scapular. 
Hoping for something good. Hoping for something to make him go fast. Bring your daughter to work day? She's uh, 10 months old, so she's not very... She's not very good at bringing her in here to stream yet. She kind of just wants to grab whatever's on my desk and smash on the keyboard. I was half expecting Sacred Heart as well. well I'm almost done with this security fight. Gertie is so tanky. Just got to clean up the ads there. And Cat of Nine Tails. You're going to see a lot of guys skip Cat of Nine Tails. It's just shot speed up. Doesn't really have many beneficial effects. It has a lot of negative effects on other items. So that's why a lot of people skip it. It also, shot speed increases the knockback from shots. So with Quad Shot, he doesn't really want to be pushing enemies all over the place. I hate both the Gerties. The, at least Gertie Senior, you're not going to take a bunch of damage. Most of us know how to do it pretty well where you're not going to take a bunch of damage. He is tanky, though, especially that champion version. There's that library I told you he increased his chance to get. It's like I know what I'm talking about. Who'd have thought? Both of them with pretty low life pools at this point. Neither of them have found their cave's item room here. Womps has that slight floor advantage. Again, it's still pretty early, but Elvin hasn't found much yet. And there's Womps' boss fight, and he's probably just going to say, screw the item room, I've got quad shot, I'm moving on. Even though white tears on Kane is always depressing. Oof, this boss I hate in caves. Definitely my top two least favorite caves bosses. You can only shoot her in the butt, right in the red baboon butt. And she's spawning these little poops all over that if you run into them, do damage to you. And they respawn even if you kill them, so it's pretty annoying. Phase two of her is my least favorite part. I'm so bad at it, especially with slow shot speed like quad shot. <laughs> Number one is Gertie Jr. in the caves. I'm so bad at dodging Gertie Jr., especially if you get the multiple variations. We can have two or three. Um, and see, there's that bouncing effect I was talking about. Bouncing around the room. Well, I'm doing a pretty good job shooting her. And finally gets a little more health. Gertie Sr. again over here on Elvin's side. And Cat of Nine Tails. But luckily he gets to reroll it and do probably the best boss item you can get. Pentagram, especially on Isaac. He needs damage. That's where Isaac struggles. He has that damage disadvantage over Kane. That's why you're going to see the majority of heart racers run Kane. Because you don't need a lot to kill the heart. Doesn't take a lot. Homing bombs over there on Wamps' side. Gish is a pretty easy fight. He's pretty tanky, though, in a race. So he's sort of obnoxious, but you're guaranteed a really good item. So um, he has his pros and cons. He's pretty tanky, though. Oh, I did not realize Depths XL on Womps' side. So both his item rooms, both his boss fights combined into one floor. All Womps is looking for is one of those boss fights. They'll be back to back. So pretty good advantage for him here over Elvin now. Elvin's going to need to pick it up. And holy water's not the way to do it. Neither is Monster Manuel. Alvin's dice is just not really paying off for him this match. That's what happens when I play Isaac. Sometimes you get Dr. Fetus and Mr. Mega. Isaac is the faster character. Um, he, poten he can potentially have so much more speed than Kane because of that dice. But Kane is just so much more consistent because you need less. It's so much easier to just peg along on Kane. I've tested it a lot. Kane with just pills. I can pull 18 minute hard times. Because he's got that damage advantage. But I personally race to the heart as Isaac. Even though I say it's bad, I still do it because Kane bugs me. Best boss drop is White Pony. I would disagree to that. Especially if you're Isaac. Because then you're giving up your dice. So why are you playing Isaac? I hate this room. It's pretty trolly sometimes. On Kane, the ponies are always great. No keys for that gold chest, so I'm just moving along. 
I'm surprised Delvin didn't go back for that item room, but he knows he's behind. He really doesn't have the time. Still a base health health for Elvin, and he's getting little Chad. Oh, little Chad gonna be the guaranteed item drop here off of Chad. So it's gonna be a follower that drops for half red hearts. Not gonna do a lot. An Eve only tournament. <laughs> Someone could race as Eve, but I'd be sort of offended because I'd consider them not taking it very seriously. I'm gonna do more racing stuff in general, so I may put together just on a whim like. You know, maybe a week notice or something, some some more races and stuff. So we'll see. I'm going to continue to use the website, so keep an eye on it even after this is over. We'll probably have some other stuff on there before this whole tournament ends. It's going to end in the middle of December. We'll probably take a break for the Christmas time and maybe talk about doing something else first of the year or something. something. Maybe even a different game. Who knows? I'd like to continue to do some tournament stuff, though. I love tournaments, man. I... You can ask my brother. If there's a chance to be competitive at something, I like to do it. It's fun. Who plays games for fun? I want to compete. He's not using that doctor's remote on blow, but he's going to save it for the foot fight. I don't know. I would have probably used it on blow. I'll miss it on the foot. Too easy to miss it on the foot. Elvin down to Necropolis with him, but he is now almost two full floors behind so I I'm worried for the boy he's gonna need something good especially red mom I would have burned the remote on bloat bloat would have been a much easier target to hit Oof, Elvin's gonna drop down to half a heart going in here. Oh, never mind, just kidding. Why to prove me wrong, game, as usual. Getting a soul heart to make it so he walked in there and broke even at least. And there's his item room for Necropolis 1. He needs something good. Maybe even as good as another Dr. Fetus. That's where I always feel bad when all my RNG's in one game. Jesus juice on Womp's side, that's a nice little damage up. Can't complain about that item. <laughs> Range up. Kamikaze. He cannot catch a break tonight. Or not tonight. This round, anyway. Pentagram and Gish is not enough on Isaac to keep up with Quad Shot Kane. Not even if you're more experienced. And he still can't find his boss fight here, either. The difference in mom colors? Um... Regular mom just spawns regular mobs and stomps her foot every so often. Blue mom spawns expansion level mobs like mobs like green greed heads, jumping spiders, butt lickers, and then red mom all she does is stomp over and over and over and occasionally shoot out of one of her doors. She never spawns mobs. So another XL for Womps over here. All he's got to do again is find that boss fight, and they'll both be right there together. The Womb XL is one that's considered usually to be an advantage. It can troll you though. I hate these cluster rooms like he's got here where he's got a big cluster of like six, seven rooms together because there could be a, an offshoot on any of those three rooms to the right hand side of his map right now. And there's finally Elvin's Necro 1 boss fight but he is so far behind now it's gonna be hard. He's counting on a Womp's death. Counting on a Womp's death. Mask of Infamy showing its ugly face for the third time tonight? That's a lot of Mask of Infamy. Not a very hard boss. Honestly, pretty easy. It's more just the fact that it's so time consuming. Especially with that Gish. This fight won't be that bad for him. Gish will slow even from the front, so you can slow that mask down, get in, get some more shots in. Well, I'm still looking for those boss fights over there in the womb. But right now he's got a very comfortable lead. He's going to bomb out of that double envy room because those rooms suck. And this is again where I was saying, I could, I, I mean, do I ban quad shot as well because it's more powerful than regular tiers? 
It's just there's no avoiding it. Eventually, someone's going to have a slight item advantage, so you got to try to just play your best game you can. It's like poker. Play the best you can every game and hope you win the majority, but sure, you're going to lose to luck once in a while. The Womps is doing a pretty good job here. Maintaining his life. Going pretty quick. 15 minutes on a Womb XL. It's not 100% RNG though. Um, we, I have over 400 races on Speedruns Live. Um, between the top four of us on Speedruns Live, we have over 2,000, I think 2,000 races added up. Maybe that's the top six of us. And it's been the same six people, first, second, third, fourth, almost all year. Very slight fluctuations. Um, and look at look at the boiler season. Cobalt 16 and 0. Slack 16 and 0. I don't know how you can claim it's all RNG when there's people that can go 16 and 0 in in the season. Sure, eventually RNG can catch you. That's that's for sure. And cause you a loss. Casper 15 and 1. Exactly. I was just. The better guy won, and each every bracket, all of them. Jim Drizzle, thirteen and three, I think, or fourteen and two. If it was all RNG, it would have been six and six for every player on the game, or that's not the right math. Eight and eight for every player on the game. Obviously, there's skill involved. <laughs> like I said, it's the same goes with poker. Now, I mean, back in the day, the the serious poker players that were good at it won all the time, but nowadays you get so many random s applicants into the, these poker tournaments that you're seeing pros get knocked out by nobodies because of luck. Yeah, it's going to happen. And Blue Mom over here on Elvin's side. Lots of Blue Moms tonight. Lots of Mom variations in general. I think we've seen just a couple regular Moms tonight. And it looks like Elvin's going to bite the dust here. Which is going to give Womps... Yep. Womps has got this now. He can just take all his time. He's got an arcade sitting right there next to him. Can just about give Womps the money. Because really, he can come back, gamble, do whatever he needs. Oh, look at that. Two eternal hearts right next to each other. Why not? Honestly, a lot of this game is... A lot of it, to me, is just making decisions. Risk-reward decisions. Like when Elvin reset in game one with a knife. Um, you know, he was taking the risk that it'll put him behind but there's that chance he's going to get a reward of getting a better item it didn't pan off but i understand why he did it i, I was a, i was all for him trying it um and it didn't work out i think he maybe went a little too long with it with the resets there but um and just in general lots of risk reward decisions you can make in this game as well as playing your opponent that's the other thing i say all the time playing your opponent um Unfortunately, when Elvin Fars falls that far behind, Womps can just pretty much set it on cruise control. And Elvin having only a handful of races under his belt compared to Womps having like 300 races under his belt, really impressed with the way he's played. I, I honestly did not expect him to play this well. Um, especially against somebody like Womps who's played a lot of Isaac Racing. He knows what it takes. So, definitely props to Elvin. He is going to be back. He's not out. He's He is not out in any way. He will be back. He will get his shot to face off. Uh, the way the final event's going to work is um, we're going to do the eight who qualified versus the eight I invited in the first round. So, it should be interesting to see if any of these qualifiers can compete with the people I invited. Obviously, I'm rooting for my invites because otherwise if my invites all lose I'll look like an idiot but um, we got some pretty good people in there I'm sure you've heard I've listed a few of the names Cobalt Street, Slack Holocus, Jim Drizzle, Trainwreck JP, four of the guys from the boiler and the top four guys from Speedruns Live who they're no rules racers so um, they're not as they're not well known racers but um, they have a lot of racing under their belt and they race no rules all the time so it's gonna be interesting to see um, if the boiler guys can do the no rules thing, I think they can because I think they're racing is what it's really about. They know how to race this game. Rules or no rules. Especially with all the variety that came playoff time. I don't think they're going to have any trouble keeping up with SRL guys, so it should be fun. That won't do them any good because they're going to the chest, so 
they will lose that. You got to be careful with shovel, especially in a chest race, because you need a, you need items for the chest. Knife poly, even with even with knife poly, if you don't get health ups or orbitals, you're gonna struggle to take down Isaac and Blue Baby with two or three hard containers. XLs all around. Womp says, I'm gonna play this judgy. I got it. Skolex, very easy womb boss. Sorta of slow, but not too bad. Oh, that red patch is proccing. Look how mean Elvin looks over there. Look how mean he's looking. Ah, uh, Teratoma, Grom. Teratoma is the easiest wound boss, in my opinion. Skull X can get you once in a while. With that shit right there. Not to mention, Skolex is slower than Teratoma. Now Womps has to kill Satan. Good job, Womps. Get cocky. Where's the door? There it's open. Get cocky, popping pills. Now you're going on to Satan. That's where you guys got to be careful with shit like that. I've warned you guys on these cane pills. I've been saying it since the first game. Popping pills when you're at the boss fight is a bad idea. Why is Womps doing Satan? Because he got an I Am Error Room, so he can't go back. He has to go to he has to go to hell. So he has to fight Satan now to get a mom kill on his statue. Sort of a funny way to end it. He shouldn't have any problem with Satan, but these rooms before Satan can take a lot out of you, if, especially with a Curse of Darkness. He's no idea where he's going. I'd love to see Womps get fucked over this. It would be funny. Most people's opinion is not any harder than Mom's heart. Actually, I, Casper said it yesterday, and I actually have to agree with him. I never thought about it that way before, but um, Satan's probably easier than the foot, especially the blue foot. And there's where this is where hell sucks though you gotta deal with the floor before it now Womp's down to three heart containers and this room's probably gonna make it two heart containers he may have literally cost himself the race on some casual pill popping and that would be a funny way to lose fifty dollars Satan isn't bad once you figure out the strategy to Satan. Womps knows how to fight Satan. I don't think he'll struggle with Satan too hard, but he is only one and a half hearts. So, um, pills aren't bad. They're just situations where you don't need to pop them. And that's why I don't play Kane, because I have a hard time not popping him as well. And he's getting so many of these horseman rooms. Cannot believe it. God, I can't wait to make a highlight called Drugs Are Bad, though. Oh my god, I can't believe that happened to him. I mean, <laughs> I was frustrated, but I love Womps. He's a friend of mine, but it just... I've seen it so many times, it makes me angry. Tower card. And there's his boss fight. If he can get through here without taking damage... He's still got his game kit up. He's got a good shot at this. If he saves his game kit for the proper moment... Well, I've seen too many people pop their game kit in the first phase... First phase is so easy. Use the statue if you have to. It's just dodge. It's just the Fallen, guys. You're just fighting the Fallen. Second phase is pretty easy, but he's only got the one orbital. So he can get fucked a little on the second phase. He's got to do his, his dancing. Oh, there's the half heart. And now he's got to pop that game, kid. And hope he gets some healing. Not enough healing. Next hit, he's down. I can't even pay attention to Elvin's game right now. I'm sorry. I gotta see what happens here. I gotta watch this. And he's through the second phase, but now the third phase with only one heart. Oh, <laughs> panic mode. The problem with this isn't the feet, it's the boom flies. 
All it takes is one bad spawn. They can literally spawn underneath of you. My, <laughs> I'm literally nervous. My heart is pumping. Ah! He had it. He had $50. And there it is. Oh, fuck no. You gotta be kidding me. Oh. <laughs> You gotta be fucking kidding me! Ow, oh, shit! Oh, God! I don't know how many people are watching, but that is not expected. <laughs> I just I added the rule of uh, you can kill Satan instead of the heart because of an I am error accident. But I didn't expect it to go down that way. I did not expect it to go down that way. Oh my god. And I know Casper... <laughs> Casper's got to feel terrible for the guy. And now I feel bad for getting mad at him. But that's, that's why I've been bitching at people. I've seen at least three or four times in a matter of eight people playing this game. Popping these pills on, at, the end of a, at the end of a floor. It's very risky. Even if it just teleports you back into rooms you didn't need to clear. So much time can be wasted by popping these random pills. Um, you had six hearts, you had quad shot, you had bombs, you had the game. And I love Womps, like I said, he's been a friend of mine for a long time. Uh, but Elvin now has such a lead. Womps went with the XL floor, got Steven. It's honestly still not that... Well, that's an XL Caves as well, so we're going to be depths to... Depths to Caves. Womps is going to give it his all, though, and try to come back. Elvin's a friend of yours as well, Casper? Oh, I'm good to hear that. It's just... He had $50 in his pocket, and I know Womps could use the money. And everybody wants to win. Nobody wants to get beat. Especially not to something like that, where he knew he knows better than that. But again, that's where the racer mentality, man. You know, that's where I say Slack and Cobalt, I don't care if they haven't raced no rules a lot. They're so smart when they play this fucking game. Casper, too, so smart when they play this game. They think about little shit like that, you know, and a lot of guys are just, oh, I'm Kane, I can pop all the pills I want. Yeah, but that can happen. 6% chance, but it can still happen. You had it in the bag, why risk it? Music's there, it's just there's occasional song. The volume on all these songs isn't the same, so it keeps dro dropping up and down. Actually, it's 6.66, isn't it? 6.66 repeating. But still, it's very low chance. But he didn't need to risk it in the first place. I'd be picking up that Booker Rev. You're not going to get another shot, most likely. I'd hit it for the heart. Get my second meat cube. And up my library chance to see some more later. Maybe get us Book of Shadows, Book of Belial. It's exactly never over till it's over. That's why I love this shit. And you guys saw it, and anyone who watched Boiler knows there were some ridiculous upsets there. Casper's final round. I mean, he made it, he made it look like he had it in the fucking bag with his 38-minute first time, and then five hours later, it was finally over. You just never know with this game sometimes. It can be a bastard. <laughs> Sorry, Casper, but really, I was like, damn, 38 minutes with that rule set. He's got this shit. He's been practicing. And there were a lot of little tricks to Casper's rules. Um, and really exposed a lot of them there. For me, at the end, when I watched a lot of people start playing them, there's a lot of little things you could have done there. But it still took so much... There's a, a little bit of RNG and, and some really good gameplay. Because you get a soul heart, you had to keep it. I mean, you'd ha you needed soul hearts that you got on the basement... That you had to keep until the chest. It was whew, rough rules. Uh, we don't use Binding of Isaac Wiki around here. We use Platinum God. Unless you're looking for like some weird shit. I don't use the Wiki much. Platinum God's a much better site. Someone can give you the link to Platinum God though. Some, someone can give you the link to the Wiki if they want to too. But I would tell you to use Platinum God over the Wiki. Elvin's got a really good lead. Um, 
His damage isn't spectacular. Womps' damage is better by long shot. I'm kind of still just shocked by the Satan fight. I know I should be paying attention, but I didn't see that coming. I I thought we were done. I was just hanging out, you know. I almost I was tempted, you know, to hit the bathroom up. We're good to go. Coat hanger now on Womps' side. Womps is really building the damage, but he's got he's got some floors to make up, but not that many. Elvin just needs to keep pegging along. Platinum God's my favorite for the items. Most of them are correct. There's a couple little mistakes I found in Platinum God. Coat hanger on his side as well. Nice tear up item for both of them. And a fun graphic. Casper, link your charity too, bro. If you're still here. I was tempted, man. I almost threw the aggro crag up there and let him finish out with the aggro crag. Throw up the link for your charity event, Casper. I don't have it right in front of me because my screen is so full of stuff here. Oh, shit. Sorry, Casper. <laughs> Throw it up, bro. It's fine. Somebody, somebody fix that for Casper there. Thank you. My bad. I'm not used to having that. I don't normally run with Moobot on, but with the extra viewers and with some of these bigger races that will be coming up, I had to do it. Make sure, guys, you check out Casper's quest for the cure there. Casper would have participated in the racing. Um... I've become pretty good with friends with Casper in a short period of time here, and I watch his channel a lot. If you guys haven't checked him out, check him out as well, but I know this quest for a cure means a lot to him. It's his second time doing it. Um, I don't have all the details yet, but unfortunately our times clash. It'll be going on at the same time as my tournament, so you'll be hearing me bringing it up a lot during the final event, the final tournament. Um, but make sure to mark it on your page. I don't know if he's still looking for any help or anything. I know he was looking for people to fill some slots as well to participate in it, but make sure to take a look. Support him in any way you can. The winner of the Boiler Season 2. And just all around a fun guy. I like hanging out on his channel. I'm, I'm, I'm in there a lot, so... If it's, there you go. So unfortunately, we clashed times. We didn't. I didn't know that ahead of time, and he wasn't sure when his time was going to be. So um, shouldn't be too big of a problem. I know his events can be going on a lot more hours than mine will. So we'll make sure to throw some love over there during it, and I'll bring it back up again. Um, if you can save that Zeke, that'd be awesome. So we have it too available in case I want to mention it again. And it's for a good cause, not just for fun. Look at Womps catching up here, man. He could do it. He really could catch up. Safety strats on Red Mom again. Elvin likes to use this method on Red Mom. I personally don't, unless I have like a sack dagger orbital or something that's going to make it a little faster. Squeezy. So now he's got to be getting close to max tier rate over there. He's got at least 1.2, so he's got a pretty good tier rate. If Wops comes back, it'd be deserved, honestly. I mean, he would deserve it, but it would be fucking ridiculous. He's still got some floors to make up. But no compass on Elvin's side. Nothing really broken on Elvin's side, so it's pretty similar here. No compass on Elvin's side. God, why do I speak? So now all he's got to do is clear this challenge room, and it looks like Elvin's got it, so... But who knows? He's got a pill in his inventory. Maybe he'll pop it on Womb 2 just for fun, just to see... If maybe he can fight Satan as well. <gasps> Just for fun. Be an honest man, be a fair man, and pop it and see what happens. <sighs> Everyone go on his channel, tell me better pop the pill on Womb 2. <laughs> it's, it's only fair, right? Well, I'm getting the. Monstro 2 fight again. Very easy. He's using a little orbital damage there, but just back and forth, back and forth. And Elvin working on this challenger room. Pretty easy. Nothing too hard. Just a little bit of a time sink, but totally worth it for a compass in the womb. Because these womb floors are the worst. He's leaving his pill behind, so no pill pop on womb 2. Aww. 
The range up isn't going to help Womps. He needs something here now to... I think he's too far behind, but maybe not. I guess it's only one floor, but that compass is going to be too big, I think. <laughs> Somebody gives him 50 bucks. That's understandable. <laughs> and make sure, guys, next week... Uh, We'll be back next Friday to do it all over again. Eight new people. Fedora guy from Boiler will be participating. He'll actually be our first week, our first race next Friday. Um, and I think he was seven and eight or seven and nine in the regular season. So I know he's he's a good Isaac player as well. And he had some tough competition in his conference. So uh, I can't imagine doing much better than that with the people he had in his conference. So it'll be interesting. I, I would have loved to have given him a free invite, but unfortunately I only have so many slots available, so. Dead Sea Scrolls. I'd be picking that up and hoping for the shovel. He got rid of his poop flies. He, he's not even going to try? Oh, he gets Ultra Pride. No, not Ultra Pride. I hate this mini boss. By far the worst mini boss. Unless you have a lot of range, like Womps does, then it's not too bad. I don't know why he's not shooting him horizontally. Vertical accuracy. He's, that's pretty good vertical accuracy. Mine's terrible. When I'm above an enemy or below an enemy, I can't hit shit. And there's that one one boss fight for Elvin. I think this should be sealing it, but I really, at this point, I'm not going to even make a guess. I'm not even, Orange is going to win. Come on, Orange. You can do it, bro. Use your wizard powers. Womps ripped right through that pretty quick. I cannot believe he's not going to give that Dead Sea Scrolls even an attempt. One shot to see if it's a shovel proc. I'm really am surprised by that. And I hate that stupid compass, or uh, hourglass. Womps had to check up there, but I didn't think it was going to be there. It's going to be all the way to the right. Looks like, there it is, Elvin getting a really good floor. Nice womb too. So, unless some some weird shit happens again, it looks like the random pill popping, because drugs are bad, is going to cost Moss $50, and that's got to hurt a little bit, even if you don't need it. God. <laughs> I know Womps will be frustrated. Hey, Silsil. He may find a pill and pop it. It may drop randomly. He's got plenty of bombs, plenty of damage. Throw up the link again for both channels, guys. Make sure to give him the love. Don't troll Womps too hard. It happens. Nobody needs to go in there and talk shit. You give him a little a little rough housing, but nothing serious, guys. Because I'm sure it's it's got to sting a little bit. But give him some love. It's almost over. Get in there and give him a GG. Elvin's going to take it. And the worst time yet in the tournament is in the finals. At 38 minutes and 22 seconds. Congratulations to Elvin. Get himself a piece of that aggro crag. Again. Good races from both of them all night tonight. Really fun. I appreciate it. That was the last race of the day, Shino. Elvin just sealed the deal on the first win, first qualifier. Out of eight people in the first qualifier, he is the winner. Um, Womps is furious. You can see him there in the bottom corner. He is mad. I know he knows what he did, and it's just one of those things. Like I said, you've got to think about when you're racing. Those are the little mistakes that can really cost you some cost you some cash. In this case, he still gets his invite. He still gets to come back and try again. Try to make up.